Hey YouTube, how we doing? Alright, this one I gotta hang my head in shame on. We've got something from Gerber and that's California telling you it's probably gonna cause cancer. So stay tuned after we roll the intro and I get to do the walk of shame. Alright guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel and you long time viewers of the channel who have yet to subscribe, look down below. You should see a little channel watermark popping up. Hover over that thing, click on it, do whatever you gotta do, it will pull up subscribe, knock it out the way early, and I know I'll feel better about it. I know you will too for the rest of the day. Alright guys, small package. It's not a knife, so we know it's a keychain tool, right? Last weekend, here I am, drunkenly surfing through Amazon, and for some reason I thought this thing looked really good, so I bought it. So now I get to do the drunken walk of shame. Say hello to the Gerber mullet. I know. <sighs> they called it that way because, let's get real, got all these little tools in the front, kind of plain in the back. Hmm. So, you know. Business in the front, potty in the back. It's a mullet! And I have no idea why they named it that, other than they went, eh, it sounded good. But, Gerber, and I like how they put this when you go out to their website and take a look. They go, problems are not scheduled in advance, but solutions can be planned for. They do say that this thing is TSA safe because it does not have a cutting edge on it, so you should be able to get it through, you know, security checkpoints. Now, don't go quoting on any of that fun stuff because, you know, TSA has its own beast in its own mind and they can basically pull and confiscate whatever they want to do. Okay? They say it's got nine tools on this bad boy. So let's see if we can find them all. <laughs> uh, there's the pry bar. You know, in the very front, pretty simple to find. They say there's a wire stripper, which I'm betting is that little dude right in there because that's where they usually pull them before. They say there's a nail puller, and I'm betting, to be honest with you, that's also in the same area. You get in there, and you just kind of pull it up with the nail, kind of wedge it in and pull for the same thing like with the stripper. Now, they say it's a scraper, and I'm betting that's that little guy right there. This thing is, like, brand new on Gerber's website, so there's not their usual pointing in arrows and everything else going, hey, it's right here. Right on the very front, there's your small and large flathead screwdrivers. There is a very, very small, as they call it, cross driver or Phillips head screwdriver. Right there is about a quarter inch hex driver. There's your friggin' bottle opener that every single freaking keychain seems to have to have nowadays. And this is the part I thought was interesting. You can basically slide this into your belt loop, hang it there, and your keys can hang right off the front of a belt loop. And oh yeah, there's your little keychain holder. You can attach it on right there through the circle. Now, they say it's got an overall length of about three inches and about three quarters of an inch width with a minuscule weight of 0.7 ounces. Yeah, I had to do this because I drunkenly ordered the dang thing and the better half went, okay, stupid, make a video. So, yeah, walk of shame in this video. Laugh at my pain. Laugh. Woodland Tactical, shut up. I know you're doing it. <coughs> so, overall Gerber, this is going to cost you 10 bucks. They always make their keychain tools very affordable, and I've seen lots of people going, well, at least it's better than a shard. It kind of has the same exact stuff as a shard, in my opinion, except the belt loop holder. Over on Amazon, it's going to run you $7.93. Now, it's rated 4.2 out of 5 stars over on Amazon, with only 6 people reviewing it. For some reason, it got like 5 five-star ratings and one one-star with someone going, what an overrated piece of crap. It's a keychain tool. I didn't expect much. I think I bought it because I was really, really deep in cheap vodka at that time. And I went, yeah, that sounds cool. Click add to cart. Bye. But anyway, guys, we're going to keep this one short. All right. We really, truly are. I want to know what you think. You know, yeah, go ahead and leave your questions, comments, love, anger, hatred, everything down below like we usually do. Go ahead and leave a bunch of laughter. I don't care. I deserve it for this guy. I just, I really, really do. <laughs> I especially want to know, hey, have any of y'all bought a Gerber mullet yet? 
I, I mean, I know I did. Do any of you guys use keychain tools? There's a thought for down below, right? So, with all that said, we're going to do the wrap up and keep this one short, sweet, and simple. All right. For you first time viewers of the channel, I want to thank you so much for taking a moment of your day to view my Walk of Shame video. I know that your time is very, very precious to you and it's a great commodity. And thank you so much for spending some of it with my channel. Now, for you first time viewers and you long time viewers who did not do it at the beginning of the video, man, thank you so much for, you know, here we go. Wow, totally lost track. Here's your second chance at redemption. My God, I need caffeine, seriously. So, excuse me, seeing it's just orange vanilla Coke. God, how I wish there was something else in there other than Coke, but no. Okay. So, I'm going to back this up. Just imagine the tape going beep, 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 beep. For you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who didn't do it at the beginning of the video. Man, here's your second chance at redemption. Because we wholeheartedly believe in redemption here on the channel. Look down below in that corner. Should be a big channel symbol popping up. Click on that thing, gonna bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and subscribed, please go ahead and beat up its little brother, the bell icon. Why? Great question. Because it's gonna notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are gonna be popping up over there. Those are gonna be videos that YouTube is gonna select from my catalog, and I guarantee it's not gonna be the Gerber Bullet. <laughs> that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But as I said, guys, thanks so much for watching this weird one, my video walk of shame on the Gerber mullet. Hope you guys have an enjoyable rest of your day.